The time has come for us to sell our property in Ravnovo. But before we show you any of that, the important thing here to note is the view. Can you hear that? Absolutely nothing. Old oak trees. And here's the house. And the barn. In we go. Okay, so I'm going to start the tour off with the outside areas. You'll see you kind of walk into the barn space. Lee will go into the barn and the house in more detail. As you come through, you've kind of got a bit of a courtyard here. That's downstairs with the house. Coming through into the garden, then you've got upstairs, external staircase upstairs. That's very common in these properties. Now, obviously, we haven't uh, cleared the garden, but um, you can see the, the size of the garden here. As I'm walking up the garden path into one of three grapevines, <coughs> these were all picked recently by our neighbour. And we're hoping for a bottle of wine in return when it's ready. So, the boys are playing in the garden. You've got, um, the total plot size is 1,046 square metres. And a lot of the garden is taken up with orchards. So there is the grapevines. Here we have peaches. We have a lovely fig bush. There's a gazillion plum trees. That's a true figure. <laughs> Pear tree up Good here. Walnut. Walnut tree. Apple. There was a quince that may not be surviving. We'll see if that lasts till next year. We've got two apple trees. So I'm going to come to the end of the garden so you can look back at the property. You've got empty plots either side, so currently no neighbours, and the garden backs onto uh, just sort of agricultural wasteland, I guess. Here, you can see the full expanse. And it's great because it's nice and flat. It's very easy to work with. So in terms of outdoor space, you could move in straight away. Indoor space, not so much, but I'll let Lee talk about that. So we've used this property, this garden in the summer. We had a pool here. We had a badminton set net up, didn't we? And um, it's a really safe space for Hudson to run around in. You've got the kind of typical wire fence that sort of marks your border all the way around. If I come around here, there is space either side of the property. So there's a very slim walkway this side under the apple tree. There's some more grapevines down there. And then if I come around here, You can see. What about the deer? Well, there's deers everywhere, dear. <laughs> and then if I come the other side of the property, you've got space down here too. So actually the space this side of the property, if it was cleared and organized would probably fit a car. Um, we were intending to use this as a separate entrance to the upstairs. So just to give you a bit of background, we was going to be renovating the upstairs as a one bed apartment to live in while we did the rest of the house and a barn conversion. And then, then we would have a space ready for Airbnb rentals. We think having a holiday rental here would be absolutely ideal with the view at the, the front that we showed you. So, but you have an upstairs house, a downstairs house, and currently you could still split that or make it one house. You've got the long open barn here, and then you've got the closed barn. So on the, what they call the schizer, the sketch, the buildings that are officially 
on the sketch of this barn here. So anything with four walls and this house. And then these types of barns are sort of considered sheds or hay stores. I think that sums up the outside for now. We'll talk about the inside. Okay, so I'm taking over from M. She's gonna look after the boy for a bit. And I'll do a quick whiz round of uh, downstairs. Then we'll go upstairs and then I'll show you the barn spaces. So here we've got a lovely wide entrance here. I absolutely adore these doors, no pun intended. Okay, let's see if some of these lights work. Yep. I should have done this first really, shouldn't I? And there's another one through here. Okay, so just come through there. Uh, the ceiling height here, I imagine, is probably about six foot two to where I'm standing. I'm absolutely fine. So we have a well, somewhat of a hallway, I suppose. Nice and wide. It's probably three meters by two meters. And a nice wide entrance to, I imagine if somebody wanted it, this could be a kitchen downstairs. It's a lovely cool space here. And it's pretty warm in the winter. It's um, it's an L shape, it's kind of unusual. But uh, yeah, all made out of the stone. It's fantastic. Now we have actually run uh, plumbing. So the mains is in the other room and we're gonna be running our drainage down to meet with the drainage on the other side of this wall to go out to the septic. So the bathroom is above us. Now in here, there is no woodworm. There's absolutely nothing. These are all oak beams, real nice condition. We've actually got some going across on the stones as well. There's a bit of extra support. Now we've done a winter in here and there's no moisture that gets in. It's, um, yeah, it actually surprised me. Now, although the ceiling height in here is pretty good, um, if you were 6'2", something like that, you may want to go down a little bit. Um, and the foundation does go down about an extra foot, so you would be able to go down 12 inches or so. Um, but as I say, yeah, this make a really, really decent kitchen for someone. The same in the rest of the house. The floors could go down further. This is just a uh, cement floor under here. That could go down. Let's go into... Uh, the first room on the side. So this also has a concrete floor. Now there has been some repairs done to this house in the past. Um, over here you can see the building has actually been underpinned on the side. This was done, I was told about 10 years ago and the property hasn't moved since. So this is an old property, timber frame with, uh, with brick and cob. So in here we've got one window. Oh, that's the builders down the road. So we have got the views out the front here, which are just stunning. I mean, I would probably replace these windows. They're a bit old, but uh, yeah, wonderful views from here. We've got a chimney stack over in the corner. This room, I would say, is probably uh, maybe three by three. Um, you could actually knock through this space and go into what I'm suggesting to be a kitchen. Um, yeah, this is uh, this is just brick here. It's uh, it's not supporting. I believe apart from this area and this area just behind this door. So uh, yeah, all of this could be opened as you see fit. And the mains water comes in over here, so we can run it along and go up to the bathroom. Got all of the materials here for that. And here we're going to go into another space with a lovely wooden clad ceiling. Really, really nice condition. Another window out to the front. Now this is our sort of storage room. Uh, it's got oak floors. They're not in what I would call 100% great condition. Everything is fine in this part of the room, but over towards this external wall, there's a little bit of a dip. Um, yeah, something that will need attention, but uh, yeah, it's just gonna be a few boards to replace that. Everything in this room, apart from Hudson's toys um, are things that we thought could be useful. Didn't want to throw them away, didn't want to burn them. We've given away a few bits and pieces here, but we've got uh, loads of stuff. If somebody wanted it, we would we would certainly keep this stuff in the house. If not, we would keep it ourselves. 
Uh, got a lovely loom over there. Yeah, it's great. Really, really awesome space. Oh, and there is another window going out there, and that's our front entrance. So you could, if you wanted to, make a doorway to come through into this space from the, uh, where the front door is. So let's go out of here and go back through the hallway, out of the blue doors. And this is our front entrance just here. So this is where the door could be put in. There's a nice strong lintel there already. So this is the barn space, which is vast, absolutely huge, all double height here. And we've got these wonderful doors that open out to that amazing view. So if anybody did want to convert this space, that would be an amazing window there. It really would. So we can uh, we can go through. Oh, one thing that I would say is you can actually drive your car in here. So this area here can be used as a as a carport come garage. So from this space, we've got another large area of barn here. This has got to be five meters by four meters. We've got an old trough for the animals and going through we've got what we were going to make Hudson's bedroom now hopefully the light is okay in here if anybody was interested to see what it was like before there was actually a ceiling just here so this was on two levels uh, we've got lots of videos showing all of that off but you can see the, the structure here this is all oak timber framed and it's great condition all apart from one bit, which I will show you, and that's just out here. As you can see, there's damage across this section. So there will be uh, one, two, three, four pieces of wood that need replacing all the way up to the hip, and new battens across, uh, and then this will be absolutely fine. Shouldn't take too long. Now, the biggest room that we've got with regards to barn space, is currently full of firewood and a few other barrels and, and things like that. This room has got to be uh, five, maybe six metres by four metres. Again, double height, all oak construction. A couple of slip tiles maybe, um, but the, the actual structure, the bones of the building are fantastic. And uh, this was actually going to be our bedroom absolutely huge it really is a good space i'll go around the other side and open that door maybe the light will be better lovely big walnut tree here okay that's my makeshift lock okay yeah, yeah so yeah the light is a little bit better in this from this direction but yeah, absolutely huge space. Structure is just, just fab. Absolutely adore this room. Would have made a great bedroom. Coming out of that door to an immediate right. There is a long drop at the end of here. It's a nice big space, but I, I wouldn't use it as a toilet if I'm honest. And if we go in here, this is where the pigs used to stay. So. We've got a couple of pig styes and there was also some chickens. Got a little access hatch there. And that joins into the roof of the main barn. The structure here is actually okay. It's wonky, but that's just how the timbers are. But uh, yeah, really, really cool. All right, now for upstairs. Lovely stone staircase here. It's had a couple of repairs in the past I would probably chip all this out and start again just with this uh, top area so a nice wide entrance going into a hallway now in this hallway is where I've put the new consumer unit and I've run all of the wiring all the way through everything is uh, is labeled here we got all of our fuses and stuff so they just need to be connected so we've got a lovely window over to the sides. This is an original window. Oh, there we go. Yeah, this is an original window. So you get a nice view over the courtyard and all of the hills beyond. Now in this space and almost every room up here, I've put in the new stud work. So these are 
Perfect. <laughs> it took me a really, really long time. So we've got new door openings, uh, all around the window casings. Everything has been done here. We've had some swallows, which sort of halted me for a little while. But yeah, everything here is done. The only thing left to do up here is uh, to put your insulation in, your plasterboard over the top. That'll give you a nice straight walls. Again, lovely views out of the windows here. We were actually going to remove this pear tree, or at least cut it a little bit lower, just so we got a bit more of that hill. But obviously that would be up to a, a new owner. So I have wired and plumbed this in. All new plumbing, all new wiring. This has actually been plumbed for a kitchen. Now, I don't know if Emily explained that we were gonna make the upstairs a, uh, a one bedroom apartment whilst we were working on the uh, on the bunker version. So uh, yeah, I'm not sure if somebody would, would still be using it as that, but all of the power is here, correct gauge wiring, all of that has been done and kitted out for a kitchen. Uh, out of that space and into this one, as you can see, this is gonna be our bathroom. So we've got power, we've got brand new plumbing, we've got drainage in the floors, got everything sorted out, all to go downstairs, and then a new subfloor over the top. So this room is, uh, I think it was about two and a half by two. So plenty big enough for a, uh, a bathtub. Into this space. This is what was gonna be our bedroom. As you can see, this is the only room where I haven't put the, uh, the stud work in just yet. But we have got all of the wiring for lighting. We've got separate wiring for plug points. So the bed was going to go here. So we've got lights and, and everything on either side of the bed. Spent a lot of time figuring this out and installing new windows so that we can get those stunning views out the front. In this room is also a chimney stack, which is wonderful out of here and into what we were going to use as the lounge this again would make another great bedroom got brand new double glazed windows all made out of wood stunning views over there there's views from every room in the house it's uh, it's amazing so these are nice high rooms forgive all of my uh, bits of wood lying around but yeah this room has got to be four by three I would imagine again ready for insulation Stick up your plasterboard, level the floors, and you've got a whole new space here. Everything in it would be brand new. Another flue there. So what I was going to do was I was gonna run the flue all the way out above the door. I would tee off somewhere around here, and I would actually go into this room as well. So it'd be hitting two rooms with one fire, which probably would have gone down here on the floor which would have uh, heat up the rest of this space anyway so uh, yeah could be three bedrooms upstairs with a bathroom kitchen diner and lounge downstairs and then you still have the barn space which could easily be four or five rooms it's uh, it's amazing I'm actually sad to be making this video <laughs> 